this is Natasha. I'm the creator, tutor and designer at My Creative Butterfly. I design crochet patterns from beginner till advanced levels. I also take online and offline crochet classes. I hope you find what you are looking for on the channel and if you like what you see, don't forget to like and subscribe. In this video today, I'll show you how to crochet this kids rakhi design that is a car. It is a very quick and easy project. So this rakhi, do not buy ready-made rakhis from the market. Make them yourself and give a nice personal touch to your rakhi festival. Before we start with this, let us see the materials that you'll need in order to make this project of your own. So let us start with the material that you need in order to make this kids car rocky. So for this I am using two colors, light blue for the main body of the car and dark brown for the wheels. I will be using dark blue only to make the string of the rocky as well. This is a size 10 mercerized crochet cotton thread. Now remember if you are making a rakhi, the size of the motif would not uh, uh, matter that much. So if you want you can replace a size 10 thread with a size 20 thread which will give you a smaller rakhi. If you want a bigger bolder rakhi you can also use some kind of yarn, a thicker thread that will give you bigger rakhi. So these are the threads then other than that you will require a 1.5 mm crochet hook, a sharp pair of scissors for cutting the thread and a pastry needle for assembling the car and for finishing it. So we'll start with the main body of the car. Start with a slip knot. Now make 14 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 and 14. Make sure that the chains are nice and even. Don't make them too tight otherwise it will be very difficult to work the next round. Now we'll skip the first chain that is this chain that is the first chain from the hook and we'll go in the second chain from the hook and do a single crochet here. Now do a single crochet in every stitch that is remaining here. So we had a total of 14. We skipped one and we made a single crochet in one. So now you have 12 chains remaining so make a single crochet in each of those 12 chains let's continue like that keep making one single crochet in each chain till you are done with all the chains So this is your first round, first row sorry. Now for the second row do a chain 1 and turn your work. Now just do one single crochet in each of the single crochets that we did in this round. So we have a total of 13 single crochets here. In the second row also you will have a total of 13 single crochets. Just keep making one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. This is your second row. Again, do a chain 1 and turn your work. Now row 3 is a repetition of uh, row 2. So just keep making one single crochet in each stitch all the way across. This is 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 and 30. This is row 3. Now the body of the car is done. Now we just need to make the doors and the windows. So again turn your work. This time don't do a chain 1. Just simply turn your work. After that do a slip stitch in the first 3 stitches. 1 2 3 and in the fourth one also do a slip stitch in 
the first four stitches now do five chains one two three four five now skip the next three stitches and do a double crochet in the fourth one we did five chains skip the next three stitches and a double crochet in the next stitch then do one two three four chains skip the next two stitches and do a slip stitch in the next one now turn your work again without doing a chain one and in this four chain loop that we made we are just going to make single crochets so make one two three four five and six single crochets in the first four chain loop in the next five chain loop we are going to make seven single crochets so one two three four five six and seven that's it we are done with this now just make a slip stitch in this stitch that is the next stitch of the main body of the car to a slip stitch like this and now cut off the thread leaving a nice 5 to 6 inches tail of uh, thread remaining because we are going to be using that to sew the uh, string of the rakhi so leave a long strand like this and the main car motif is done now let us see how to do the wheels so for the wheels uh, i'm using dark brown again start with a slip knot now do two chains now in the second chain from the hook oh uh, sorry do three chains and in the third chain from the hook do 11 half double crochets all 11 half double crochets in the same chain so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and 11 once done with all 11 half double crochets just do a slip stitch in the top of this chain that is the first chain 3 that we made do a slip stitch here to complete the round so this is your first wheel done now just repeat the same pattern one more time and make one more wheel for the car this one also for this motif also we are going to leave a nice uh, 7 to 8 inches long tail of the thread so that we can use it for sewing the wheel to the car just secure the end and make one more wheel for the car then we'll see how to finish and how to assemble it so here i have done both the wheels for the car now let us see how to finish it off so we are just going to weave in the beginning tails of thread for both the wheels so just take your tapestry needle thread this smaller tail of thread into the tapestry needle now just pass it one or two times around the center stitches like this I'll just cut it off very close to the work like this and we are done we'll be using this longer tail to sew the wheel so we are not going to weave it in repeat the same thing with the other wheel as well done with both the wheels now we'll just weave in this smaller tail of thread in the car also
repeat the same step just pass it through the stitches one or two times and then just cut it off close to the work that's it so now when, once you are done with this we are going to attach the wheels to the car like this half of the wheel should be on the car body and half should be below it like this now before we do that let us make the string of the rakhi then we will do the assembly all at once so keep this aside for a while for the string just make a normal chain as long as you want depending upon the age of the kid uh, who will be tying the rakhi I prefer to keep it slightly longer because that won't harm if it is smaller then it might not fit the hand so it is a good idea to have some extra length in that just keep making the chain till you are satisfied with the number of uh, with the length of the chain sorry string for the rakhi if you don't want to do this you can also attach a ribbon to the car motif that could also work as the string for it Put it on your wrist and see the measurement. I think this much is be, will be enough for a kit. But still, I'll just do ten or fifteen extra chains. At the same, no need to leave a very long tail. Just cut it, uh, you know, leaving a inch. that is enough now for finishing it just hold both the ends together and cut it off leaving about half to 3/4 inches thread pieces here like this you don't need to weave them in or anything this is nice and nicely finished now let us see how to assemble the uh, car motif So take both the wheels one by one. And we'll be sewing in it, it in such a way that half of the wheel is on the car body and half is hanging freely below it. So put the wheel like this and just attach it with a few stitches as many as required. There you go. It is nicely attached. Now just put one knot in the thread, and then just pass it through a few stitches in the wheel itself, just to secure the just to secure the end. Now cut it off close to the work. in the same way attach the second wheel here like this so here i am done with both the wheels now we'll attach the string at the back of the car motif so i'm going to attach it somewhere here and we have to make sure that it is attached in the center so what i prefer to do is just fold this in half and then put it at the center and then open it see if 
both the ends will be equally skeletal. So we'll just sew it in place. So thread this long tail that we uh, had left in the car motif. Thread it into your tapestry needle and just attach the string in one straight line behind the rakhi. Once in a while keep turning the rakhi to see that the stitches are coming nicely in the front also. They should not look very shabby and in the front. If you don't want to sew it, you can also attach it using fabric glue. Just glue it. Once you reach the end again just tie one knot here to secure the thread and then just pass it through a few stitches and the back only now cut it off close to the work that's it Iraqi is done Make it in any color that you want and you can change the color combinations. You can use a different string, you can use a ribbon or something like that. You can personalize it in any way that, uh, that you want. If you want to add a little bling to it, you can add some glitter or some sequins or beads to it. That depends entirely on you. If you don't want to make wheels, you can attach two nice big buttons here that will work as the wheels. So these are a few ideas that came to my mind. Don't confine yourself to my creativity. Let your creativity flow. Think of something with which you can personalize this Rakhi and make your own. If you liked what you learned today, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And also, if you have something to say to me, please feel free to post it in the comments. I'll be more than happy to read and reply to your messages. So, thank you so much for watching and happy crocheting. Bye-bye.